So how do you understand this? There are three that yeah. testify. Yeah. The spirit, the water, and the and blood, the mind, and course. the three are in agreement. Well, that's quite clear. The spirit of God, the mind of God or Jesus, the water of baptism, the blood symbolizing the death of Jesus, all these things line up beautifully. Now, in the footnote, you've got a few late manuscripts. That's a bit of an understatement. A few completely late manuscripts, like 1500s. They've got a Trinitarian sort of statement there, which is not in any modern translation. So don't be reading the King James Version. It's very behind the times. This happens a lot, by the way, in the manuscripts. Mm. The copyists, and in this case, I believe, Anthony, a, yep. a forged manuscript yes. was produced very late, I believe. It was. Well, at the time of Erasmus, whenever that was, he agreed to include it if somebody could find a manuscript which had it so somebody concocted one. It's a, it's a high crime situation and don't put the devil beyond that kind of thing. He's very, very keen to confuse and confound by changing the words of scripture. So 1 John 5, 7, it's in the King James. It's not in any modern version and you can read about it anywhere on the internet. It's a forgery and a fake so this is called the Johannine comma. The interesting thing to me about this article is that it mentions, uh, look at this, on January 1897, during a yeah. period of reaction in the church, Holy Office decreed that Catholic, listen to this, Catholic yeah. theologians could not, quote, with safety, yeah. deny or call into doubt, comma's authenticity. Mm. But then look at this, three decades later, mm. June 1927, mm -hmm. Pope Pius the Eleventh decreed that the comma was mm -hmm. open to investigation. <laughs> so there is yes. a movement. Yes. Underneath this quote, you see King James only. Yes. Which is baffling to me because yes. this movement is an evangelical movement. Props up this Catholic yes. created verse. Absolutely. Isn't isn't that ironic? So evangelicals, yes. I say are more zealous than, than yes. Catholics when it comes to this. In that same article you've got on the screen, it says the 15th century was the earliest manuscript that was found, 15th century. But you can study that very carefully and you'll see that it's a forgery and a fraud. First Greek manuscript ah. that contains it from the 15th. So this yes. is the time of Erasmus. 15th, isn't that amazing? Don't be scammed. This is, by the way, folks, for scholars and Scholars of all stripes, uh, mm -hmm. uh, I gave you the Pope himself. Mm, so Catholic, Catholic scholars are onto this. Evangelicals are onto Absolutely. this. Absolutely. They say, some of them say that this is the most explicit Trinitarian verse. Of course. And it happens to be a forgery. Absolutely. So what that should, should that think. tell you? Like I said, the manuscripts have many problems, many forgeries. Mm -hmm. Look at this one. I found this interesting. This is 1 yep. Corinthians 8, 6. In this commentary, mm -hmm. Gregory of Nyssa, one of the so-called Cappadocian fathers, uh, one of the creators of what we have today as the doctrine of the Trinity, mm -hmm. and a few relatively late Greek mm -hmm. manuscripts mm -hmm. added, and one Holy Spirit mm -hmm. in whom all exist, mm -hmm. and so on. So again, yep. you have this addition of a trinity right the father absolutely jesus and the spirit 